multi-monitor setup wherever you want it to go, all right here. Okay, so Steam VR multiple desktops. First, bring up Steam VR menu. Okay, and then here you can see desktops right next to recently played. You click on desktops. And here you can see all this is your desktop right now, right? So you can see all your desktops here. So I have desktop, I have three monitors. If you have one monitor, you probably see one. So let's say I want to pin my first monitor. This is my second monitor, my first monitor. Let's say I want to pin this to the world. I just hit float in world right here. Oop. So now you can see it's in the world. And you can adjust the size like this over here. As big or as small as you want. Let's say I put it this size. And then click on this arrow button to drag it and move it anywhere you want in VR. Let's say I want to put it right here on the side. Then close using your menu button. So right now, this monitor is going to follow me wherever I go. If I turn my head, it's going to stay right there. If I move my body in real life, it's still right there. So it's staying here wherever you wherever you place it. And you can also interact with it like, like this. You just click on it, you can move stuff around. So that's method one. And let's say you want to pin another monitor like this one. Click on the next monitor and also press float and world. And it will also, same thing, you can put it anywhere you want. So I put it right here below me. Close the menu. Boom, two monitors. They're gonna stay right where you place them. And if you turn your head, right there. Okay. If you wanna close it, just press return here. It goes back here. Let's say you wanna put it on your controller, you can also do it. So let's say it will go to this one. And I want to pin it on my left controller. Just press here for left, here for right, left controller. Boom. Now it's on my left hand. So wherever I move my left hand, it's going to stay here. This is my desktop monitor. You can also click on it like this. See? So this is native within Steam VR. You don't need any other apps. This everything is within Steam VR. Next up is another app called Desktop Plus. So this one has more features and it's it's also free, but you can do a lot more things with it. But yeah, it has more settings and it's also free, but it's not as easy as SteamVR. So for this one, let, you can also pin like Windows from, you can also pin applications. This monitor, you can see the monitors. I have three monitors, you can pick which one. Let's say I want to pin this one, you press plus here. There's one here, you can drag it. And then you click on enable drag mode. You can drag it Ooh, anywhere you like. Up and down arrow to up and down arrow to make it smaller or bigger. You can also show the action bar here. You can show the keyboard. Okay, so when I close Steam VR, you see it's still right here. Same thing. Click on capture, click on source, and let's say you want to pin a window like Spotify, click on it. And now it's only Spotify window. So you see, here it's just Spotify. You can click stuff here. Walk around. If I walk around, it's still gonna stay there. And let's say I wanna, you can adjust it too. You can make it cropped. You can make it smaller. You can adjust the width, smaller width. The curve, fully customizable. Opacity. Okay, and then over here, position, you can click on where you want it. So you can put it on your HMD. That means it will follow you right in front of you like this. You can see I'm walking around, it's right there. Or you can play around, there's so many settings. You can put it on your right controller. So now it's on my right hand, Spotify, and I can just click on it and I can play music too like this. Cool stuff. And if you want to close it, just press close right here. Play. So let's say one multiple monitors all around you. 
you can click on the stuff that you want so on Spotify yes okay so now I got all my monitors as many as you want pin you can walk around and it's just gonna follow you around so yeah if you want more monitors following you around you can just do this you can walk around and turn and it's still right here the one on my hand multi monitor setup wherever you want it to go all right here let's drag it I want it over here. Smaller. Maybe like over here. Got a little video playing. Now I have a YouTube video playing inside of my dash. So I'm racing. Okay, when you're in link, you can add tabs called desktop panels. Let's say I want to add Spotify. Grab the panel and you can use your wrist to adjust the size. Up, down, left, right, thumbstick. Okay, let's say I want it here on the side. Turn it like this. Okay. Then I can press pin, this little thing here. I'm bring it closer so you can see. You can press pin here. And then if I press the menu button, you can see that. Let's say I add another desktop panel. Let's say I add uh, Firefox. So we'll just plus it here smaller put it over here then I can just press pin this little button here so you can see this one pin to experience just press that press menu button time to get this fest started my turn to shine So you can use Open Kneeboard as a program that lets you pin monitors inside OpenXR games. So to do this, go to settings, you can add a tab, and you can add like a window if you want to add like a program. So let's say I want to play a game while playing another game, or look at the game. Press capture this window. So now I can go to this game, click here, you can see the game's running. So you see here, in the bottom, there's a window. This is my game going on in the window. Okay. So I have a screen here now. Around. So it's showing me the screen. If I look at it, it enlarges it. So you can attach like whatever you want, like window or video. <laughs> a bit of experience, a bit of luck. Right, the settings for VR, you can adjust and recenter things like recenter now, and you can adjust the positioning so you make it higher, lower. You can also add bindings so you can hotkey the buttons to recenter it, etc.